Hi everyone, this is Nas from Infotech Journal. Today I got a question, and I thought the question was very, very good, because I forgot as I was doing my PLI commands, my studying, my day-to-day -day work as a network engineer, that we basically started out with a CLI that has only either black and white, or white on black, or maybe green on black, and no text highlighting. The keyword here is text highlighting. So the CLI with text highlighting does make it a lot easier to focus your eyes or your attention to the parts that you're looking for. Uh, with Packet Tracer, unfortunately, um, you just have to use the inbuilt feature for the CLI and then you probably can just change it, like I said, maybe black on orange or something just to make it easier on your eyes. But in the real world or other labs, like I'm using EVNG or you can use GNS3 or any other flavors out there. I use I use Secure CRT. Secure CRT is a paid application. Um, so you can either get it from your work if your work has an enterprise or a company license that you can use. So this is Secure CRT. With Secure CRT, it doesn't actually come with highlights out of the box. So Depending on your version of Secure CRT, you probably have to do some changes. So this is what I mean by highlighting. Oh, let's just make it a bit bigger. Okay. So with text highlighting, so let's just say so IP interface. So this is what I mean. So you can have different colors to, to focus your attention and just make things a lot more efficient when you're configuring or labbing or studying for that matter as well so with secure crt again it is a paid application so yet you of course you have to pay it uh if you do have a license somewhere that you find from your company or from internet or your friends or somebody got you the license you have to go to import keyword highlighting ini file now, all these links, I'll just put it on the YouTube video once I'm done. So basically, you have to download these two files. And with, when you download those two files, you go to Secure CRT. It's a global option. So you have to make sure it's uh, in the global configuration. And you have to go to Default Settings, Edit Default Settings. And then you would have um, Keyword Highlighting right here. So you just have to make new and go to the directory where you actually download the INA files and then just put them in and then select which one you want so i am of course i like to have a black background so i'll have i'll use cisco word dkbg because it's for black background basically this just populates uh, regular expressions and what the regular expression does it focuses in on some patterns and highlights keywords that is for cisco ios and then you have different colors for them this makes life a lot easier again this is a paid version so let's move on to the next option um, which is free and they also have paid version for that one um let's go to that one so the next one that i like to use is uh, mobile exter mobile exter um, does a lot of other things as well but we're not going to go through that we're just going to go to how to get the keyword highlighting in there so mobile x term is something like this you have mobile x term hopefully you can see that let's go back to the topology so you get a clear background so this is mobile x term as you can see it also has keyword highlighting with mobile x term you probably have to again change it to your desired effect like i like a dark background you can go to the website to get the dark background but the main thing here is if you're using it for cisco or us you have to go to settings and on the settings tab here you go to terminal and syntax highlighting is the one that you want that you want to focus on syntax highlighting so right here the highlighting, and you have to choose cisco network configuration you can customize it again but again with customization you have probably have to know a bit of uh, regular expressions and all the likes but out of the box this is pretty straightforward and you can just get the highlighting the way you want it 
uh, sorry not the way you want it the way it has been configured it's pretty good now uh, you're gonna have show it show IP interface show let's just let's just show the same thing again show interface Ethernet zero slash zero switch port and you can see here it's a different coloring scheme but again it achieves the same thing so this is again the other window and this is mobile xterm and you can see just the way they color it it depends on your preferences i like an orange font color when i do my configurations uh, white and this color scheme is a bit cleaner well you can use mobile xterm as well uh the other one that's most popular uh, or most commonly used when you're starting out or everybody just suggests it suggests you to use it as putty we do have putty so this is putty okay putty out of the box does not really have a lot of it doesn't really have highlighting so. So this one has some keyword highlighting, but again, this is not putty in the sense of it's an actual putty. It's actually a GitHub release, uh, slightly modified by this individual. Um, and this is where I downloaded uh, the putty from. So I'll also put this in the links below for you to try it out. Putty is free. Uh, terminal, terminal emulator is pretty handy i usually have it on a usb stick uh, or a thumb drive depending on your language and then i just bring it around as one of my tools sets when i go on site or something to do it's just it's a lightweight and it's a zip file you can just open the zip file and everything is in there um an honorable mention that i would like to say as well is i also use super party super party is basically um it puts a front screen on putty and it adds a tabularization so you can have tabs uh like when you do use this one it has tabs so you can have multiple windows open or multiple ssh or telnet sessions and then you just move through the tabs with putty being lightweight and as it is uh, if you want tabs um, you use um, super putty to help you get those tabs so i'll put it in on the link below as well hopefully this has been helpful and i hope anybody watching this if you're just starting out these keyword highlighting does help and do support this creator uh, in making more keyword highlighting because um, i like putty as well it's very, very good and this helps it just to grow a bit more uh, thanks you thank you for viewing and thank you again for that question